Hi guys, my name is Sam, and today we're going to be doing a Does It Suck for One Piece Primera. Um, let me tell you how this game works, how you can level up, kind of some of the things that I've learned from playing this game, so that maybe if you want to hop in and try to level up some stuff, then you can. I am a level 1, because I, I guess I don't know how to level up other than killing hollows, but I have no idea how many hollows it takes to level up. So, I'm going to try to show you what I've learned as far as combat skills go, because I've been fighting a lot of high-level players, and I haven't won, but I've learned a couple things. So, this is a nice little alley that I'll show you how to play this game. You press M to meditate. If you meditate, you will slowly regain health, uh, and it'll increase the amount of health you gain as you meditate for longer, so it'll go faster. So it starts out at like one health point a second, and then it goes to two, and then it goes to three, and then it goes to like five, and then you're at max health already, so no big deal. Um, right click is a heavy attack. Left click is a ba 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 da. It's a big old slice to do. Then you have different skills, like you have your flash step, which you have to unlock with uh, your skill tree, which I think I've showed you meditate. So let's show you. Okay, this is your skill tree. Okay, I messed it up already. Alright, if you scroll at all, it'll lock your thing in the middle of the window, so you gotta press K, and then you gotta restart it. The way you move around your skill tree is you move your mouse, as you can see here, I move it down to the bottom left, and it moves to the bottom left. That's how the skill tree works. Let me turn off chat here. Um, these are all the different moves. You have to hover over them for a while before they'll register that you're actually looking at them, and they need to be somewhere near the center of the screen. To unlock them, you have to have the amount of skills you see there. You can see 12 keto points at the end of the description of what it is. Then you have to click it, see? And then it says you don't have the required level and such. I have this, which wants it finally, <laughs> there you go. Suddenly accelerate faster than the untrained eye can see. That is what flash step is. I got that because it looked cool. It was a bad first purchase, personally. I think I should have made this purchase first, the first Keto move, and Keto is very strong in this game. There are the only moves that can one-shot people are in the Keto tree. No one can really one-shot melee, but if you're a good melee fighter, you stand a fairly good chance, as so long as you can avoid the laser beam of death from Keto. Okay, next up is your learn for F. F is your block. F is very important. Um, you can block a lot of things and it will either cancel damage or reduce it heavily. And by reduce heavily, I mean it'll take a one shot and it'll turn it into... It only takes half of your health instead of completely wiping out your health. You know, um, sometimes, sometimes, if you time it right. <laughs> you can see that pink laser beam off in the distance. That's someone who has a move that one shots people and he spams it a lot, which is super annoying. Um, I think I've told you the controls, right? Yep, F, uh, Q is your dodge. You can press Q, or if you have flash step, it, flash step, it's shift Q. If you want to know all of these keys and stuff, you can look at the description of the game itself. In the about page, it'll tell you all the abilities and all the different skills and stuff. Alright, let's go ahead and get on to the point where I go try some fighting and show you it, and kind of show you how to level a little bit. And explain how the combat works. So while I'm on the way there, one important thing to know. Let me show you a couple combat tricks actually. F, if you're blocking an attack, you can press Q to get away. So if someone's slicing in your face, whoa, what are you doing? If you slice in, if someone's slicing in your face and you're blocking, you can press Q to take a step back to get away from their combo. That's something I learned from fighting a higher level player. If you're blocking and you don't get the and you don't have a particular ability in your skill tree, which allows you to, if you're blocking, immediately go into a combo attack. If you've quote unquote parried or you've blocked someone on time, it allows you to go immediately into attack. So skills are very important in this game. You do get damage buffs from leveling them up, leveling up, and they are quite impressive damage buffs. But very rarely are they one shot unless they have to do with keto. Um. Other than Keto, I'm going to be talking about Swordplay because I don't know Keto because I don't have Keto. And really, I only know how to your basic defense against Keto. 
So basic defense against Keto is block on time. <laughs> and uh, don't fight Manos Grande at all. Unless you have some kind of Keto that can destroy them. So melee fighters don't do very well against Keto. Uh, not melee fighters don't do very well against Manos Grande. So right click is your heavy attack. One thing else that I learned is you can cancel a right click into a light spam attack, and there's a certain skill down the road that a heavy attack will boost your damage. So if you start a heavy attack and go into light attacks, you will do more damage because that's a cool little thing that you can do. And that's another trick I learned from a higher level player. As well as, you know, the block into a Q to get away from a combo. You can't block while you're being comboed. An important thing that I learned recently as well is melee attacking stun locks your opponent. So if you get the first hit off, you're going to get guaranteed the rest of them. So long as you keep spamming. So that works against NPCs. It works against everyone except for um, Menos Grande. They don't get stunned. Menos Grande, I would highly suggest anyone who's a low level not even trying to fight them. They can do half your health in a single stomp. And you can't do any damage to them really at all. So if you're a noob, don't fight Menos. If you're a noob though, you can fight Hollows. The way to fight Hollows is they have their moves and you have to time your attacks. So long as you're attacking them, they should become stunlocked. If this player starts picking a fight with my Hollow, I want the XP. I'm going to start meleeing him and I'm going to try to kill him. At the same time as the Hollow. As you see here, there is the melee stun. So even players are affected by it. High level players, no ability allows you to avoid being stunned if he takes my hollow okay he doesn't take my hollow kill he died to the hollow all right watch for this this guy is a pain hey stop what did he did he just wait a second wait a second did he just laser beam someone and they didn't take damage maybe he had maybe they had the shield on Alright, this guy's laser beam is super annoying, and it's like, uncounterable. Oh, this guy is such a high level. Wow! This is incredibly level based. There's nothing I can do. I could dodge you, I could dodge him all I like. I can't do anything. Oh my gosh. Never mind, guys. This game is incredibly level-based. I take back everything I've said about this game not being level-based. I've only ever fought people who I could slightly stand a chance at fighting. That guy, I can't even... He one-shots me, and I can't even do enough damage to do anything. Uh, that just took it from a game that I was thoroughly enjoying... Like, I was actually enjoying this game. Not thoroughly enjoying. That's a bit of an overstatement. But I was enjoying this game. Now, I'm not... I'm not. Like, if you're not able to kill that guy, and he just one-shots you, then it's not a good game. Okay? Any, any game, in my opinion, any game that someone can become so powerful that they don't even have to try to win anymore, is dumb. Like, I, I hate everything about that type of game. The ability to fight and not have a chance at all of winning. Like, fighting a higher level and having a chance at winning. Like, if I was fighting him and he had a one-shot laser beam but I could still do damage to him, then I might consider it a fair game. But that just took the score down from, I've done this video before, I've recorded it before, and I gave it a 5. Um, this game is now, like, two. <laughs> no, it's not a two. It's, it's a three. Solid three. Because the level based is too much. Before, it was manageable. And now it's just not. Also, the stun lock doesn't work on that high level player at all.
So the melee sunlock didn't work. I'm sure if he drew his sword, I would be dead in a moment. He didn't even have to try to kill me. So, yeah. This game's gonna go ahead and, I mean, I knew Menos Grande were almost untouched. Like that. You don't have to try. So, no. They fed no. This game gets a 3. Incredibly level based. Combat against hollows. That hollow was just attacking me through my stunlock, which is dumb. So, I mean, you level up by killing hollows, but I haven't leveled up once and I've killed so many hollows. And there doesn't appear to be a single button on my keyboard which unlocks anything. So I have no idea how you're supposed to level up. This game, the big old no. This game sucks. Okay, guys, sorry if you enjoyed this game, but you have to admit, a level base like that makes the game sucky. The only reason I used to play games like this, and this might be the reason you're playing, is so that I could be strong enough to fight those people. But, that's... I realized that that's just dumb. You could put dozens, dozens of hours into this game, and there's someone who is already that strong, and who is continuing... How am I at rank 30? What the heck? I guess I've killed a lot of players, but how am I on, like, a top rank? Oh, whatever. But yeah. No. Big fat no. I used to play this game so I could- I used to play games like this so that I could get strong enough to fight the people who were that strong. I used to waste hours of my life trying to do that, and it's futile. The people who are strong are getting stronger and stronger. Just because you're getting stronger, they can get stronger at, if not the same rate, faster than you. Because even at an increased level different, like even if the XP requirement is higher per level, they have ways to kill things so fast it doesn't matter. They just stand in one spot and leave... At that level, you just stand in one spot, leave a clicker going where he's just swiping and anything that comes at you dies. Like, they're, the strong are getting stronger and those who are weak have no chance. When it's a game like that, I don't feel like playing. When there's physically no chance, like, if... I could become skilled enough, not just leveled enough to fight a higher level player than I would, but that guy, I was dodging his laser beams left and right, and all he had to do was move his laser beam. I couldn't kill him. I couldn't damage him. It's an impossible fight. And I like challenges. I like challenges that I feel like if I just tried a lot harder, I could win, which is why... I loved, I like, I play Dark Souls. I went through Dark Souls because I felt like I could win. Even fighting against players who had more gear, I felt like I could win. This is not that type of thing. I can't feel, I don't feel like I can win in a fair fight. No matter how high I level up, I'm going to be killed. So, what's the point? And that makes this game lose its... It makes this game make me not want to play it. Another reason why I did enjoy Tokyo Ghoul, but... Fighting people who had better... Better, um... Get, uh, oh my gosh, it's been too long since I've watched Tokyo Ghoul. People who had better Kagune, or had better, um... Queen K's. That's what it was. Kagane and Queen K. Anyone who had a better one than, than me, even in the balanced arena, as it's called, I didn't stand a chance against them. Like, I'd fight skilled owl players, and I'd lose. 
like I would fight a I fought skilled owl players of rank one to two, but then they go to rank three and I stand no chance. It's just no. if two people with two different abilities at the ska same skill level, if one of them has no chance against the other, so say say this. In-game knowledge and play skill are exactly the same, but the uh, abilities and the kits are different. If player 1 and player 2 have that problem, and player 1 physically cannot win because of the kit difference, that game makes it undesirable to me and makes me not want to play it at all. Because if you physically can't win, against someone of the same skill as you with this with a different ability that different ability is inferior and if you prefer that different ability then you're done so now that i've gone on about a rant about how i don't like level based games and i don't like impossible fights thank you guys for watching and um Oh yeah, God bless, and I'll see you in the next one.